Last night I uh, stepped down this road here. At the end of the road, turn left, E65, through R. Which, um, I did this to get away from the traffic on this road. Which was, uh, which was a good idea. Um, so I couldn't hear the traffic on this road. Unfortunately, some character came along with a um, souped-up Fiat Panda sort of thing. So it looks as it looks to me as it was about 25 years old. Follow E65 through R for 39 kilometres. And. Uh, so did a couple of laps around the block. Uh, it's rather strange because it had these big wheels, but it was a Fiat Panda. Obviously, somebody spent some time doing it. Then there were several noises from the farm, generators and thing. Anyway, it's now uh, quarter to seven. And I've just left, but the uh, uh, some farm vehicle started up half an hour ago, which is fair enough, because I mean, if you park next to a farm, then you've got to expect farm vehicles. I saw the tractor out. In the morning, it doesn't really bother me. I like to have peace and quiet when I'm asleep. Uh, get away from the lorries as much as possible. Right, well, today's plan is uh, I drive, I've got uh, 494 kilometers do to reach my destination. According to the Tom Tom, it's going to take me 8 hours and 32 minutes using the camper route. And um, I think I'll just spend most of the day doing that. I, I might I'll sleep somewhere in Poland, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go to Skavina tomorrow morning. I might have a day in Krakow with them. I don't know about this idea. I'll work that one out when I get to it. Anyway, this is the best time of, of the day to be travelling. Actually, if anything, it's probably the uh, best time of the day it's already gone. I can get up early enough. But early Saturday morning and I'm heading north. We're at Selak. And I'm doing 68 according to that and 65 according to this, but either way it's too much, so I'm slowing down gradually. I've seen on the right here a couple of places I could have spent the night. This type of street is for me, it's very typical of Hungary. Squat, uh, low, one story houses, but with high roofs, which are often of um, an unusual shape and flat on the top. E65, Petfish to Bar, for 34 kilometers. on the left where the lorries were gathering, obviously to spend the night there. Um, if you want a bit of company, you can stay next to, near with the lorries. The trouble is with lorries is if they're refrigerated lorries, for example, you'll hear the engines on all night. So, yeah, 
better off where there aren't any lorries at all. I like to hear the birds singing. One thing about Hungary is that there seems to be very little linguistic knowledge in this country. Uh, people only speak Hungarian and um, I noticed this when we were here last and even older people who may have had Russian at school don't remember any of it which is uh, Bit awkward. Obviously, I don't expect people when I go to Tesco to be able to speak multi multi languages. But uh, even even people who worked in, in, in tourism, for example, when I was in Ege last year, they just spoke Hungarian. to the right. I'm sleeping in here and park my car temporarily. Wow, that's me to eat. 